tall stories in every show. Look! Up in the sky! <laughs> it's a bird! It's a bird! It's Superman! Oh. Yes, it's Superman, strange visitor from the 1950s with a show that stayed on television for nearly 40 years. Superman, who changes costume in a phone box, bends credibility with his bare hands, and who, disguised as Clark Kent, fights a never-ending battle for ratings, residuals, and the Australian dollar. Gosh, Miss Lane, we don't get any good headlines now that Superman is working for Kerry Murdoch. He's changed. If only he were more interested in us. I think I know a way to make him interested, Jimmy. Miss Lane, now's your chance. Superman, do you in your X-ray vision notice anything different? Yes, Miss Lane. You're wearing frilly French crutchless knickers, but... <laughs> I see bodies like yours every day. These days, I'm more interested in... More interested in... What is it, Superman? Jimmy. You're turning into a big, big boy these days, Jimmy. Tell me, how would you like to go around the world on a man's back? And then tonight's star-started action pack, larger than life, over-the-top, fully integrated, fully compatible, user-friendly, multifunctional, biodegradable, over-budgeted, under-financed, semi-compactable, fully collapsible, intellectually... Patricia Hodge, please come through. I don't mean to rush you, mate, but the wedding is tonight. Look, Shelley, I've got it under control. Look, bridesmaids, check. Invites, check. Flowers, check. Groom. Oh, no. <laughs> Nikki, what happened? Why are you in a wheelchair? What wheelchair? What do you mean, Shelley? Don't hesitate to call. Lovely to meet you. Right. Thank you, Doctor. Say hi to your hubby. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 um, uh, with those suppositories, after every bowel movement, stick one up your ass. <laughs> Be certain to really whack it right up your clacker. <laughs> Cheerio. On a rhythm. <laughs> You stole my son <laughs> Tough titty dad You're underground Everyone knows That I haven't had a hit for years So I'll sing your old song instead Never before has something been more <laughs> unbelievable in every way <laughs> that this song's a hit, a hit today. Oh, but I'm dead, and it's regrettable. These royalties are just ungettable. Don't worry, Dad. They're all bankable Some time ago, Ford set themselves a task 
to design and build an attractive, affordable Australian sports car to be sold both here and overseas. Yes, the Ford Capri. Well, it didn't quite turn out to be the hit we expected, and we've had to make several hundred staff cutbacks since then. But now, we have an even better idea. To design and build a big six-cylinder family car to drive Australia into the 90s. Codename, Carolina preparing for her all-important floor routine, her best category. I'll hand over to you, Trish. Yes, thanks, Tim. This is Berlina's best category and rule with, there it is, the classic Cominici opening for the classically trained Berlina. There it is, the double back kick, once, twice, three oh, times. Notice the hands, very expressive. That's an ethnic influence there. That's, that's the, the compulsory floor lie, superb, and a double leg lower kick. Preparing now for her compulsory tumbling sequence, the first. Here she goes. She's yes. doing very, very well. Three forward aerial somersaults and a slight deviation in style, but recovered well with a round off. Can I borrow your pen for a tip? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Here's your pen back. <laughs> Welcome back live. Raja Chonkowski from Hungary there. Here it is, Berlina Stumpy on her vault. Off the springboard. Oh! McGregor with another canny tip. And with Christmas only a few months away, it's time to, get, to give you a tip on Christmas things and how to save your money. Because did you know that your Yuletide presents can set you back a small fortune? So always remember, it's not the present, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> Wouldn't have I got a hell of a thought for you, Gordon? <laughs> you think you're better in that the present now? Mary's waiting. It's a smorgasbord of the lovelies here tonight, isn't it, Les? It certainly is, Keith. What do you think of that gorgeous blonde lassie over there? Oh, very nice, very nice indeed. Yes, sir, that's my baby. You, uh, you don't think I'm a bit old for her, do you? Les, it is a well-known fact that the older we gentlemen get, the more attractive we appear to the opposite sex. Take me, for example. How old do you think I look? 42. No, I said, how old do I look, not how old am I? Oh, uh, 30. Exactly. And do you know why? I'll tell you. I take pride in myself. The hair, for example. Feel the hair. Go on, feel it. I'm not going to bite you. It's not right, Jesus. Let you into a little secret. Not entirely my own hair. You're joking. No. It's a Swiss technique. Guaranteed to stay on under any circumstances. What about uh, when you, you know? <laughs> hey? You know. Constipated? No. When you're having sex. Oh, geez, I wouldn't have only had it 18 months. <laughs> Ooh, oh, she's looking over. Now, here's your chance. Now, the ladies. Appreciate a gentleman who can move. I want you to dance over to her and make life with the introductions. <laughs> so how did you go, lover boy? I'm too old for her. Les, I keep telling you, your marriage is kaput, finished. You've got to put the past behind you. Now, there's absolutely no reason in the world why you shouldn't be able to go up to a lovely young girl like that and say... She's your daughter. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you're too old for a list. That's what I thought. Well, come on out, Jeannie, and give me back my trousers or I'll use your bottle as a specimen jar. <laughs> What's gotten into you, Jeannie? Well, certainly not you, Astro Boy. <laughs> What? 
tried to steal all your lines too. Do you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? She sure does. <laughs> you had the part that was so boring. Nobody ever noticed you. certain it was my client who dropped his lunch. Well, listen here, young man. No matter how you try and twist my words, I know what I smelled and I know what I heard. All right, then, please, tell the court, what did you hear? Well, it, 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 was, it was something sort of like a... sort of like this. It was sort of, sort of like... not quite right. That's not how it was. Mrs. Bennett, I'd like to clarify something, if I may. Was it anything like this at all? <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. That's what it was like. But then it had a sort of like a... <laughs> at the end. <laughs> Where will I go? What will I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> oh, God! Hey, hey, hey! Good night, Joel. Good night, Philip. Good night, ma'am. Good night, Mrs. Wilson. <laughs> I like staying at your place. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, it's nice. Why? Well, I like Toby. Well, I like your mum's cooking. And I like your mum. But most of all, I like your doll. And a couple of cokes. That's uh, room 3601. And by the way, I like your taste in music. Oi! <laughs> Maybe you could use one of these. Thanks. <laughs> sure and natural. Sure. 
Now surely this is natural. And strong like a giant peanut master? Yes, just like Peter Garrett. No, if you'll excuse me, bullstick, I must go and look for my contact lenses. Poor old Ken. He tries hard to look hip, but all the girls think he's a dag. None of them want to be his girl. But now he's found true love by answering an advert in the paper. It's blow up, Barbie. Now Ken will never be lonely again. Oh, nonsense, Sandra. I won't hear another word about it. Oh, thank you, dear. That looks really lovely. Really. Look, Mum, I'm sorry to have to break it to you like this, but you've got to start listening to me. I'm gay. You're not gay. You're not gay. Gay. You like girls. You like girls. What about Liz? She's a girl. You're always round at Liz's place. Mum, that was 15 years ago. Besides, I was sleeping with her brother. Oh, not that way inclined. You're not. Look at you. You've got a man's moustache and a, I've never found teeth marks in your pillow. Oh, no. Look, face it. Andy is a man's man. Always has been. Besides, there's something I've got to tell you, too. I've got a two grand a week heroin habit. Mostly I just rob banks and grab bags, but I do do the occasional pornographic film. Father, tell me it's not true. Well, actually, dear, there's something that I've been meaning to do. I don't know quite how to put this, but I, I've been sleeping with your sister. Ethel? Yes, Ethel. Oh, Stan, you lousy mongrel. Well, I've been doing your cleaning and your washing and your mending. You've been sneaking around trying to get my sister up the duff. Hi, everybody. Sorry I'm late. But guess what? I have the most fantastic news. I can't believe it. No, well, you may as well tell us some good news. I have been elected parliamentary leader of the Australian Democrats. <laughs> thinking straight. I'm going to ring the knackery and, and I'm going to tell them to get rid of that horrible animal. But... What a bitch. <laughs> fire sale! Fire sale! Fire sale! Yes, here at Dodgy Brothers Pet Galore, we've recently had an insurance fire. An unfortunate accident! But that's a great chance for pet lovers to crack onto last season fashions at today's prices. Look at these only slightly singed, smoky rot feelers. They're too hot to handle. <laughs> and we've got budgies in a huge range of black. Tomcats, Tomcats, Tomcats. And cabbies. They're in season now. <laughs> You've been staring out there all day. What are you doing? Testing. Testing what? Computer operators. Just trying to work out which of our computer operators has the... It's about 20 bucks worth there, mate. <laughs> yeah. You've been taking...
taken vitamins. <laughs> so, who's going to be your best man? My best, my best man, I'll tell you, someone who I would trust with my life, someone, someone who I know better than myself. <laughs> to meet you. <laughs> Lily! Oh, Billy! <laughs> Lily! Ma, you know how Dad looks like Frankenstein's monster? Yes, Eddie, dear. Well, how come he always carries on like a great puff? Good evening, this is Money Matters, the program for rich people who want to be richer. I'm Gina Hardface, bitch, so shut up. Tonight, the stock market, why does it panic? With me in the studio, Giles Carphone of Parasite Pacific. I own a Van Gogh. And Roderick Laptop of Leech, Ransack and Launder. I knew someone poor once. Why is the stock market always so nervous? Why do you say that? Who's been talking? Not me. I haven't said anything. I was away at the time. What would you do if you heard a rumor that the dollar was falling? Get fresh underwear. Poison my children. There is an argument that the stock market constantly overreacts to rumors should financial rumors Rumors dictate market trends. If I start them, yes. Giles. I own New Zealand. If investors' shares start plummeting, what do you do? Keep your eyes on the ball. Knees bent. Follow through. Fall. <laughs> Hello, I'm from Telecom. Oh, right on time. <laughs> I don't know, mate. Oh, I'm really worried about this, OK? Mate, will you relax? We have got one winning presentation in there. We are going to undercut Trumbulls by 300 thou, believe me. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, about this get-up. Oh, I don't think they're going to go for it, mate. <laughs> Listen, mate. As I've told you before, this is the very latest in power dressing. I got it from the New Guinea natives. In one year, everyone is going to be wearing these things. It represents power, youthfulness, ambition, virility, vitality. Oh, I don't know. Mr Atkins, we'll see you now. <laughs> OK, mate. Here we go. We've still got time to take them off, mate. Will you relax, Chris, mate? We're well, going to knock the old codger for six in there. Around the bush. It's an impressive presentation and it's a very good offer. But quite frankly, <laughs> I don't think your company is big enough. Okay, I'm off now. Bye. Bye, bye, darling. Bye, right, darling. You be careful now. Remember what they say on the telly. You drink and drive, you're a bloody idiot. In your hands, concentrate or kill. And don't risk your life with unsafe tyres. Yeah, drowsy drivers die. Speed kills. And belt up. And rethink your third drink. And say no to drugs. Quit. Don't have unsafe sex. Don't go to bed with a thousand other people. Save the environment. Reuse, refill, recycle. Don't rubbish Australia. Don't get water up your nose. And report gas leaks immediately. Dial before you dig. Check the weather before you go boating. 
think I might just stay home and watch telly, actually. <laughs> Welcome back. And now here's one of my favorite parts of the show. My solo. Please give a big woo for me. <laughs> day after day, alone on a hill. A man with the foolish grin is keeping perfectly still. But nobody seems to know him. They can see that he's just a fool. And he doesn't seem to notice But the fool on the hill Sees the sun going down And the eyes in his head Sees the world spinning round Hmm Introducing Hot and Spicy, the great new taste from Kentucky Fried Chicken. Delicious marinated chicken with a crispy, crunchy coating and just a dash of extra spice. 